Pay attention to the hands and one of his hands is tucked. Hello, my name is Lady Tina Leader. I help professionals speak confidently in any situation. I'm yes, done. we do. I'm done. And why I'm we get into done. this psychological no, motivation. I'm yeah. super done. So I noticed that in the beginning, Megan Fox feels very free when she's asking MGK all the questions. She feels very relaxed, very confident. But then when it came to a flip where MGK now asks Megan Fox the questions, I could see that her hand goes under her leg. Anytime you see in the body language that somebody's concealing their hand, so whether they put their hands in their pockets, hands behind them, uh, hands under their legs, then they're trying to hold themselves back from revealing too much about themselves. It makes sense in this context because obviously Megan is a celebrity and maybe there's just some things that she just doesn't want out there. Fair enough, but if you ever see somebody holding or hiding their hand in any type of way, that's just an indication that they don't feel quite comfortable in the questions that you might be asking or in the setting that they're currently in. So whenever you talk to somebody, pay attention to their hands and where they are. What is my hidden talent? No, Buddha, <laughs> don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay. Only PG rated answers. Okay. God, well, one. When I said pay attention to the hands, MGK is crossing his arms and one of his hands is tucked. So he clearly wanted to say that first answer, you can already tell, but he's holding himself and trying to find something else to say other than whatever he was thinking in the initial question. So again, pay attention to the hands because they say a lot. Peace. We're talking yeah, about Harry mother. Potter. Yes. Don't think that but I'm which not one is my They do this handshake twice. So we actually do this all the time with body language when we build rapport with somebody. When you just meet somebody, if you're able to do a handshake, then shaking their hands is a huge one. Interesting fact about handshakes or any type of physical touch that you might do with somebody is that on a subconscious level, we tend to somehow wipe it on our face. And the reason why we do that is so we can smell them. If somebody's ever bumped into you and you've ever felt this weird feeling like, okay, something bad's gonna happen. You are picking up on what is happening in their neurochemistry. And it could just be that they're nervous, but this is really the reason why people come to me when it comes to speaking confidently, because oftentimes in high stakes situations, you get nervous, you have social anxiety, even though you don't have social anxiety when you're with your friends. But for some reason, when you're talking to authority figures, oftentimes you get very nervous. People can smell the fear on you or they can smell the anxiety on you. It goes into their subconscious and then they have a perception about you. So it's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, all of that being said, what I'm trying to say is that when they do this cool little handshake, it creates that closeness, that rapport on the very subconscious level. What I'm trying to say is that they're probably in a honeymoon stage right now. <laughs> and it's super cute. Sword, katana, blade, blade is chaos, blade is what tactic, up. violence. If you're in a dynamic where one person is way more dominant than the other person, the dominant one tends to talk over the other person. In this case, it feels very power coupley because each individual person will always finish their thought process. They're not afraid to talk over each other and finish their sentence, but they're also hearing each other at the same time. So they have that level of rapport and respect that they do give each other. And of course, this is done in a very playful way. But that being said, it's very obvious that these are two very hard headed individual powerful people coming together especially when uh it's a romantic dynamic which is very vulnerable intense and intimate it can either explode or two individuals doing their own thing and then they also commingle once in a while then it can be a very fantastic just Oh, amazing dynamic so we'll see which direction that they go in the future i wouldn't know you could just feel the chemistry and i love it those were my three things that i saw hopefully that was fun helpful or whatever it may be but if you like me to do more of these just let me know just experimenting with this anyway my name is lady tina leader and i hope to see you on the next video